Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gloria Oking. Thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you an update on my on the bald spot I had. If you have been following my channel or if you've been following me for a long time, you would know that last year I had a bald spot or a bald spot appeared on my hair. <laughs> it was a whole story, it was a whole journey. But if you would like to check out like the videos I have on it, just click the link. Up here or I'm going to put the links to the videos in the description down below if you have not watched the other videos I'm just going to give you guys a brief intro on the bald spot I had I basically developed a bald spot or a bald spot appeared on my hair did I develop it or did it appear I don't know <laughs> but a bald spot appeared on my hair like at the back of my head last year I think around September or August or yeah September time I noticed it it was really tiny I didn't think anything about it I just kept going and eventually it became worse and I was really stressed about it and then I went to see the dermatologist if you want to see everything just watch the previous videos after going to the dermatologist I eventually started taking medications but at the end of the day after I received and watching other people's videos on bald spots I realized these medications might just help me with what caused the bald spots but to grow out the bald spots they might not help me with that so I eventually decided to start caring for my hair better if you guys have been following me this past few months six to eight months I've been more involved with my hair and I've actually seen a difference in it that's the background story about my hair how the bald spots happened and all that and now I'm going to show you guys what the bald spot looks like now well technically there's no bald spot I recently made this clip today the back Back of my hair seems to be growing I'm going to put the before here and I'm going to show you what it looks like now this is what the back of my hair looks like like this obviously an increase in the length prior to now when the bald spot came the back of my hair was literally a low cut it was chopped off like somebody came and took scissors and cut out my hair it was painful I was acting like a bad guy but it was painful <laughs> it was annoying because I couldn't do like some hairstyles where it involves my back hair even when I'm twisting my hair now I can't really twist it because it's just is shorter than the rest of my hair which was annoying I thought of cutting my hair that didn't work it wouldn't work <laughs> that was that my hair has started growing and as you guys can see I really do not have I really could not find a bald patch or spot anywhere at the back of my hair anymore although the hair at the back still needs to grow more but I'm really glad about the improvement of the hair I really cannot complain because before now my hair was ratchet looking we thank the Lord God Almighty for this growth I'm going to give you guys tips on how I grew my bald spot because someone asked me how I grew my bald spot the first tip is take your medications because if you cannot fix what's wrong with you inside the bald spot is going to be there it's going to continue showing itself it's going to increase i didn't really finish my medication don't be like me but i took them to a certain level finish your medications guys if you've gone to the um dermatologist or whoever you go to or the doctors and they recommend any medication to you as long as related to you treating yourself with the bald spot please take them i was like deficient in like zinc and vitamin d the, my levels were low so basically that's what happened avoid tight hairstyles when I went to the dermatologist she also told me I, I need to avoid tight hairstyles I need to avoid making my hair tight or hairstyles that pull on your scalp because that's just going to stress the bald spot like there was hair on it but if there was hair on it to make sense but there's no hair so <laughs> the next point is do not pull on your hair so much I've seen people pull on their hair when they are like detangling it and all that stuff please try to avoid pulling on your hair as much as you can because that's it's, it's, it's <laughs> talking from experience don't pull on your hair too much okay and my next point is hair care this hair care has sub points the first sub point is deep condition for me i would say every wash day because i wash my hair at least once in two weeks i can wash it once a week try to deep condition your hair every wash day depending on the type of hair you have try to find deep conditioners that work good for your hair and deep condition your hair because when i stay in my natural hair journey i never really used to deep condition i would just do the normal conditioner and amount but deep conditioning helps the hair it gives it moisture it's helps with the elasticity so you know your hair doesn't feel dry and when you pack it it doesn't feel like you're pulling on the hair so try as much as possible to deep condition your hair 
whenever you wash your hair moisturize as often according to your hair type or moisturize according to your hair type basically moisturize your hair your hair cannot be dry the bald spot is already dry <laughs> You might have low porosity hair, which means you really don't have to moisturize it like every single time But you also have to focus on the moisture going into your hair You might have high porosity hair where you have to moisturize your hair very often because your hair dries up really fast It sucks in all the product. So just know your hair type and moisturize your hair according to the hair type you have Do not let your hair get dry Like dry like no moisture nothing <laughs> this is like a summary of all the points don't let your hair get dry guys because when your hair is dry for me i don't know about you guys if you guys have experienced bald spots but when my hair is extremely dry my hair starts itching my scalp the bald spot especially it starts paining me and itching me that was one thing i noticed and at a particular time after the hair grew out if i realized my hair was dry not like dry it had oil but the oils were not inside low porosity problem i would experience a little bit of pain and itchiness so i would either go wash my hair and deep condition and moisturize around that period because i was i was just not in the mood for any unnecessary pain stress or worry so yes that's pretty much it guys so i just wanted to come and show you guys what my hair looks like right now and I am not mad. I'm not mad. I'm really glad it's growing. I'm really glad it's getting better. I'm getting better. So yeah, yeah guys, that's it. That's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because oh, it has been a journey. If you guys have been following me from day one or since day one, I'm really thankful to you guys because my hair journey I don't know I don't know at this point it's just like okay I'm going to care for my hair but I'm not going to use it carry it on my head what that means is I'm not going to stress over it too much I don't know if I don't know how to explain it but anyways I cannot come and keep myself okay <laughs> all right guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a comment on how you grow out your bald spot or how you're growing out your bald spot if you've experienced bald spots or know anyone that experienced bald spots you can share your experience in the comment section below and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video okay bye guys <laughs>